Good morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. I'm Brian Moritz. It's a beautiful one degree here in Frederick, Colorado today. So naturally we thought we'd show you around one of our really, really nice used units. Today we've got a 2018 Tiffin Allegro Red 33AA. So one of the most popular floor plans of the Tiffin Allegro Red. What makes it so popular is from tip to tip, it's only 35 feet, two inches. So nice and short for those of you who still want to get in the national park, still have quite a bit of living space and get the ride and comfort, comfort of a diesel pusher. So while we're kind of pushed back there, let's look up on the roof. This Allegro Red 33AA does have two 15,000 BTU low profile air conditionings on it. Those can be powered by either the 8,000 watt generator or shore power. Also up there in the front, you will see a little dome. That's going to be a WineGuard RTT20B, which is an in-motion satellite capable of using either DirecTV or Dish Network, just depending on what you prefer. In the back, we've got another WineGuard antenna. That's going to be your over-the-air TV, just for picking up you know, your local channels, news, sports, weather, whatever. Um, you do have the over-the-air antenna as well. So we'll walk around the exterior first, and then we'll head inside. Now. This 33AA does have two different awnings on it. So we've got this Dometic up here. That's just gonna be over the patio door, or the entry door, not the patio door. And then we've got the longer one here in the middle, probably about a 20 foot awning. That's gonna be our true patio awning. So with it being so cold and windy, I don't wanna put it out, but from here all the way to here, that's gonna be the patio awning length. In the middle of the coach, We've got the exterior entertainment, which is going to be a 32 inch LG HD TV in the sidewall compartment. And then down below in our first bay, two things going on here. First, we've got the 24 gallon propane tank. That's gonna fire our furnace, our water heater, and our cooktop. And then in the front of that, separated by a wall, we've got our hydraulic pump for our automatic leveling jacks nice and easy to access if you ever needed to do maintenance on it. Second bay back, this is just gonna be a huge pass-through. Something you don't see on these smaller diesel pushers very often. Now in this bay, we do have four, a total of four 110 volt power outlets, as well as one 12 volt, so you have power outside if you need it. That box down there on the floor, that's gonna be the extra tiles that Tiffin throws in from the factory, just in case one on the inside breaks. Moving back, behind this bay is gonna be our 90 gallon fresh water tank. Something I really like that Tiffin did is they give you the option to gravity fill that tank rather than having to pressure fill it. Something we're kinda of seeing manufacturers go away from on these diesel pushers. 90 gallons of fresh water behind that bay. Moving back just a little bit more. Couple things going on here. Little bit of storage down here on the bottom of this one. But more importantly, we've got our two chassis batteries. Now those two chassis batteries are used to start this engine. Now right here, we've got our two slide out controllers for these two rear slides. This is a quad slide model, but these two controllers are right here, easy to access, easy to change out if you ever needed to, or if you ever have a failure, there's a pretty easy reset procedure that you can find anywhere online or just call one of us and we can walk you through it. But it's just nice that they're easy to access. And then a little bit more storage as well as some chassis computer components. Right here we've got the cover for our 10 gallon gas or electric hot water heater so you can use it on electricity if you're at a park and have power available or you can run it on propane if you're out boondocking. On the rear of this coach we've got a full fiberglass rear cap. We've got a full color HD backup camera up top that will come on automatically when we put it in reverse. And then, not a lot to see under this engine cover with a rear mounted radiator. But the things that you need to get to are accessible. We've got our coolant, oil fill, um, as well as dipstick and transmission dipstick over on the right side. Now down below on this Freightliner chassis, we did get a 10,000 pound towing capacity. So two inch hitch down below, 10,000 pound towing capacity, seven pin connections already there for your trailer brakes or towed lights. 
coming around to the driver's side. Very back bay, just a little bit of storage. On these smaller motorhomes, they try and stuff it in wherever they can. Next is our power bay, as well as our diesel exhaust fluid. So, 13 gallon diesel exhaust fluid, you've got a gauge out here, you've got a gauge inside so you can see where, uh, or what your level's at. Just keep it above half a tank, you'll never have an issue with it. Power cord, so 50 amp power cord, looks like about a 36 foot cord. Now, I kinda actually really like this. Instead of doing your traditional power cord reel, they just give you a spot here to wrap it up. Nice and easy, nothing there to break. The next bit, we're gonna have our water compartment. Tiffin does a great job in making their water compartments nice and clean and easy to access. So over here on the left side, city water connection. Right here, tank flush for your gray and black tank. Uh, your bypass valves for winterizing this motorhome. Hot and cold exterior shower, city water or tank fill. An external water pump switch so you can use this exterior shower. And then your gray and black tank dump valves. Now, I mentioned that we had 90 gallons of fresh water. On the gray side, we have 70 waters and our black water tank is a 50 gallon tank. So 90, 70, 50. Other side of our big pass through. Now on the right side, we can see our central vacuum system. That's where we're gonna change our filters, that kind of stuff. There's also a port outside so you can plug into it, vacuum out your car if you wanted to. And then last but not least, we've got our house batteries. So four six volt house batteries on a tray. So if you need to change it out, you can actually pull the batteries out to you rather than having to fight getting them in there. One more compartment. This is just going to be our chassis circuit breakers and fuses. So anything from the Freightliner side of this motorhome is right here. Now also, there's a pull up front and that's gonna open the compartment for our 8,000 watt generator. Now with this being a used 2018, it has 140 hours on that 8,000 watt generator. So definitely wasn't much of a boondocking coach, probably more of a campground queen. While we're up front here, let's talk about this. The stock number for this unit is 5U220234. Again, it is a 2018 Tiffin Allegro Red 33AA. Uh, so just walking around the outside, I don't really see anything concerning for a used coach. It appears to be in just really great condition. So just note that. We'll go inside now. So as you come inside this motorhome, I do have all four slides closed. Just so you can see what it looks like when you're in transit. Take that off. So all four slides closed. We still have plenty of room to get back into the back of this motorhome. Refrigerator and freezer completely accessible as well as the mid bath. So toilet and shower in here, completely accessible while in transit mode. And if you just want to pull over and take a little bit of a nap, you still have full access to your 72 by 80 king bed back here. So we'll go ahead and get these open now. Oh, actually, we're gonna talk about the cab first because you have to have it running to move slides in this coach. So, Go and get it started up here. You're gonna hear some buzzing for just a second. And now we're running. So first things first, use 2018. This coach has 10,620 miles on it. So other than us going up, going to fuel it up and maybe a couple test drives, I mean, that's really what it's gonna have on it. Now let's start over here on the left side. We've got the control panel for our HWH computerized leveling. That's gonna be four hydraulic jacks. All we're gonna do is push auto level. All four jacks go down, take all the play out of the suspension and get us level. Auxiliary start, that's gonna draw power from the house batteries to the chassis batteries in the event the chassis batteries die. Air horn switch, so we can go, that's our city horn, air horn on, we got a big horn. ICC flash, if a trucker passes you and you wanna let them know that you're clear, boom, it's just gonna uh, flash your marker lights out there. Exhaust brake on and off, that's the master switch. Power mirror adjustment for both your driver and passenger side. 
mirror heat. This toggle bar right here actually controls the dash of this motorhome. So when we fire it up, there's a checklist on the dash. It's gonna say things like power cord unplugged, antennas down, jacks up, bay doors closed and locked. Just all your stuff that you need to check before you leave to prevent damage to your motorhome. Up front, the touchpad for our Allison 3000 six speed automatic transmission. So drive neutral reverse, mode for economy or performance mode, and then increase or decrease the gear that you're in. Parking brake, windshield wiper controls, headlights on and off, and then a switch to bright or dim the dash lights. Up on the dash, not a lot to see here, but we've got our fuel gauge for that 100 gallon diesel fuel tank, the battery uh, level for your chassis batteries, tachometer, speedometer, and then over here, oil pressure, water temperature, primary and secondary air tank levels. Moving over to the right side, we've got two screens here. Now what I really love about Tiffin, they do give you a dedicated camera screen. So that one's always on the rear view, unless I turn on a blinker and then it'll show me the left side of this motorhome. There's a couple different ways we can set that up as well. This one's gonna be our radio. That's gonna be AM, FM, Bluetooth and nav in that screen there. Step cover for your passengers so the feet don't have to sit down in a hole. Driver fan up top here just for additional airflow. You have up and down so you have a high and low for it. Solar shade which is kind of a, you know, in lieu of wearing sunglasses you could drop this down. Keep the sun from beating on you. And then night shade which is going to be your total privacy shade for the front of the motorhome. Generator start and stop. Map lights on up above our head and then radio this is going to choose what power source you want the radio to be so if i turn it on it's going to power this off of the chassis batteries if i turn it off it's going to power it off of the house batteries the reason they do that is so you do not have to have the ignition on to use this radio if you're sitting in the campground standard hvac controls and then two 12 volts one is a usb well two usbs i should say and then just your standard cigarette cigarettes lighter style 12 volt Drawer for storage, you know, just a nice place to throw your phone, keys, wallet. Well, I guess your keys are probably going to be in the issue. So phone and wallet while you're in transit. And then up above, we do have a 43-inch LG HD TV. Now this does have a safety switch on it. It's not going to use, or it's not going to be usable while this coach is in motion. And we'll go ahead and get these slides out now. So Tiffin in 2018 put their slide out controls right on the side of the driver and passenger seat. What I really like about this is it forces you to stand here and make sure that this slide is not hitting your seat. All class A diesels have the problem where you can hit this seat with a slide out and cause damage to it. Nice and smooth. Go over to the other side. All right, so really, really big living space here in the living room. Go to the back and get these two slides. And last one. All right, so since we're already in the back, we're gonna go ahead and start in the bedroom. I'm gonna shut this off. All right, so this 2018 Tiffin Allegro 33AA does have the option for a 72 by 80 king bed in lieu of the standard 60 by 80 queen bed. 
All right, so just kind of a nice little option there, especially for those of you who are a little bit bigger. Up top, we've got great storage all the way across the top of the bed. Extra, you know, wardrobe storage or just all your miscellaneous stuff. On both sides of the bed, we do have opening windows just for additional airflow. If you're out boondocking, don't want to run the generator and the air conditionings, we can just open the windows, turn on this ceiling fan and have great airflow inside of this bedroom. Towards the very back, huge closet, hanging wardrobe. Previous owner did put some shelving down here just for additional shoe storage, something we see quite often. And then to the left of that, we have some more storage, but more importantly, we've got the Splendid Combo washer and dryer. Something that can be taken out if you don't want it and you'd rather have the storage. All the way in the back, this is gonna be our entire AV compartment for this motorhome. So we've got our HDMI connections for all TVs, the LG DVD or Blu-ray player, I'm sorry. Um, but if we want to use that satellite on the roof, this is where we're gonna put your receiver to run the TVs. Up above a 43 inch LG HD TV. More storage. Now on the tip in Allegro Red, on all windows, we get two types of shades. Your first one's just gonna be your solar shade to keep the sun from beating in. The second one is going to be your total, total privacy shade. Just completely blacks you out, keeps the light out of the coach as well. More wardrobe, drawers, but a solid surface countertop there. So if you wanna throw a phone wallet keys before you go to bed, plenty of room to do it. Lots of storage in this 35 foot motorhome though. And as always, Tiffin throws in a laundry hamper, something that I really like about Tiffin. Most other manufacturers are not doing that still. Moving forward into kind of the center area, two little pockets. Now down below in this one, we've got our fuses and circuit breakers for the house. So that's gonna have things like our air conditioning, our furnace, uh, hot water heater, our lights, our power, or our power outlets, all nice and easy to access in the middle of the coach. You don't have to go outside to try to find them. And then two shelves here, adjustable up and down as needed. We can also add more shelves in there if you wanted to. On the Tiffin Allegro Red 33AA, we do have a mid bath with great storage in it for all your toiletries. Huge medicine cabinet. Again, shelves are adjustable up and down as needed. Two more cabinets down below the sink. And then we do have two outlets in here as well, just for all your power needs. Now, opposite of the sink, we do have a 36 inch radius shower with a glass enclosure. Pretty standard. Which is going to bring us across to the kitchen. Let's start kitchen off with storage. Two roll-out pantries with adjustable shelves. You can move them up and down or add more if you wanted to. Just behind that or in front of that, we've got the Whirlpool residential refrigerator. So this is going to be only an electric refrigerator. Um, so you would have to either have the inverter on like I have now, generator running, or be plugged into shore power. But there's three different ways that you can power this refrigerator. Forward, we've got this sharp convection microwave. So this is gonna double double as an oven in lieu of the pocket oven down below. More rollout storage. And then a really big cabinet with another adjustable shelf. Great place for your pots and pans or your plates and utensils. Big solid surface countertop down below. Lots of workspace here. We have a dual sink with two covers. There is a place down below that to store these covers as well if, you're, if you don't want them in your way. And then a three, per, three burner propane cooktop. And then three drawers going down Two of them are pretty big and then one's a little smaller, but still all the kitchen storage you can get is better. Silverware drawer already put there for you. 
and then one more really big one. To the left, cabinet under the sink with a place for a trash can, actually big enough to fit a trash can. Right here where we see this cutout in this wood box, we've got a place to put our sink covers as well as our stove covers while we're using those appliances. Three more drawers, and this first one's gonna have all the <laughs> remotes for this motorhome. Uh, we counted them, they're actually all here. And then up top here, very important, the previous owners did keep all of our manuals for this motorhome. We've got both the chassis and the house side. Um, just nice to have them if you're ever out camping and have a question or have a problem with something, you can pull the manual out and look at it or you can give us a call. More storage going across the top, right above this booth dinette. And then right here, we've got just your standard booth dinette. Plenty of room here for four people. I do like the Tiffin put the backrest here so you can sit here and lounge. Kind of makes a nice seating area if you have quite a few people in here. Both the driver and passenger seat do swivel and become part of the living room as well. But on the opposite side of the dinette, we've got two things going on. One, we've got a recliner. Now this is free floating so we can pull it out, move it around, put it where you want to be comfortable and then a 72 inch sofa. Now down below this, we do have a trifold sofa sleeper for additional sleeping. Now that's big enough that you could actually sleep two adults there comfortably. And of course, storage all the way across the top of the driver's side of the motorhome. And then last but not least, one more 43 inch LG HD TV. Down below, we do have an electric fireplace that will run off of either shore power generator, but that is gonna act as an additional 5,000 BTU furnace. Um, they actually do a really awesome job. I have one in my fifth wheel. I use it pretty religiously. And I think that's pretty much gonna wrap up my walkthrough of this 2018 Tiffin Allegro 33AA. If you have any questions about this unit or any other unit in my inventory, please feel free to give me a call. Again, my name is Brian Moritz with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. My phone number is 303-482-6375. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next week.